Hi guys, I'm Jack Mendes from Dora Academy and this is my documentary, Michelle Kaufman. Enjoy. Shortcut. Do documentary. My feeling is that women don't belong inside the locker rooms where the athletes are. What I'm afraid of is that the impact on women in sports will diminish the joy of the sport, diminish the joy of the athletes, and the athletes will become very, very inhibited, and I think that will be a detrimental thing to everybody's entertainment. If you're going into an NFL locker room, there are 53 players, they're all men. There are about 20 coaches, they're all men, so that makes about 73 people. Everyone in there is a man. So you would be in a room with, you know, oftentimes 100 or 120 men, and you were the only woman, the only one. You know, you definitely felt out of place, you felt lonely, you know, you, you walk into a place where you just don't feel comfortable. I don't think we'd get anywhere if every time someone said something to it, we were running and complaining because we'd be doing that every five minutes. Maybe this is the time to stand up and, and fight for just a little bit of dignity and the respect that we deserve. The locker room is not really a great place to do interviews for men or for women. You know, it's just, it's not the best place to be. And then as a woman to go in there is 10 times worse. The way it was working back then, and even when I started in the mid 80s, um, the men were allowed in the locker room and the female reporters were not. So that's not really an even playing field. For me as a female journalist, the guys, my competition, were allowed to go in and get quotes and get interviews after the game and I had to stand in the hallway. It's definitely not fun. I had a lot of things said to me and done to me when I was earlier in my career, especially when I was in my 20s. And then on top of that, some of the players were jerks and made you feel even worse and would, you know, brush right by you with their bodies or say things to you as they walked by. Um, it was really, it was really, really hard. I mean, there were many moments where I wondered, like, why am I doing this? Why am I subjecting myself to this? Um, this is not part of my, this should not be part of my job, but it was, and I was not going to let them kick me out of this field. So, you know, those of us that were doing the job back then, we just kind of uh, held in the tears, but we really endured a lot. We endured a lot. Um, at the end of the day, I'm glad I stuck with it because I have a daughter and she sees that I'm in a male dominated field. I've been able to last, you know, for 32 years doing this. And I, she sees that, um, you know, I never, I wasn't too scared. I stuck with it. I wanted to inspire other young women to get into the field if they like sports. And so that's why I teach also at the University of Miami. I teach a uh, sports journalism course. Uh, I've been doing it for 14 years. And I would say every year, half of the students in the class are female, but um, there are, a lot of women that are interested in the field, so that makes me feel good. Um, I've covered 14 Olympics and six World Cups. Um, Wimbledon, I went to like seven Wimbledons in a row. You know, this is, I mean, these are all the Olympics, World Cups, Wimbledon. They go all the way back. Um, yeah, this is my whole career on my two arms right here. Everything. It's been an amazing ride, and um, I still love it. Uh, every day it's different. I've been doing it for 34 years. Um, every single day it's different because I'm working on a different story. I'm interviewing a different person. I'm telling a different story. So um, what I love about my job is that it's never felt like a job. I really feel like I, you know, every day that I wake up, and I get to write sports stories is, it's fun for me. It's enjoyable. Um, and the travel has been amazing. The travel to get to see South Africa, Brazil, China, Argentina, all over Europe, Russia, everyone in the United States is home watching on TV. And I'm actually there. I'm in the epicenter of the sports world for those weeks, whether it's a World Cup and Olympics, Wimbledon, um, to be able to sit on center court at Wimbledon, it's exciting. I mean, I guess in one word, I would say exciting.